file. Personally, I think the show would be a lot better if the jury had the power to sentence contestants to death. I wonder if they'd still draw little frowny faces next to the names if it was a vote for lethal injection. Next up, rub some sherbet on your knee. And guess what? It's a dis or dat. I'm gonna read off seven things. For each one, I want you to tell me if it's the name of a Baskin Robbins ice cream flavor or the name of a pain relieving cream or ointment. If it's ice cream, press your X button. If it's pain relief cream, press your B button. Each right answer scoops up $300 for you. But get one wrong and you'll be aching for money. And you gotta do it in 30 seconds. Ready? Let's go. Asper cream. Mississippi mud. Gold metal ribbon. Icy hot. Australian dream. Mineral ice. Love potion 31. Well, you know what they say, I scream, you scream, we all scream for the fact that you didn't quite get all the correct answers on this dis or dat ream. Now if they could only come out with some sort of ointment for brain freeze. Where's the bow, girl? Rock my world, girl. Ooh, yeah. Coming up, Gek of the morning to ya. Imagine that the Geico Gecko saved so much money on car insurance that he quit show business. What would he be able to do at his retirement party? Kiss all the ladies with his forked tongue? Breathe with gills in his disco-lighted hot tub? Hang from the chandelier with his adhesive pads? Or show off by killing a mouse with his poisonous bite? Have you ever tried to breathe in a disco-lighted hot tub? It's impossible. Those things are breathtaking. <laughs> Allow me. Although they don't have forked tongues, gills, or poisonous bites, geckos do have adhesive pads on their feet for climbing. Very few, interestingly enough, walk on their hind legs, speak, or give a shit about car insurance. Let's say so long to round one. And you're in pretty good shape, for now. Remember, I'm doubling the value of each question in round two. Now get out there and make me proud. May I introduce a real wine connoisseur? If you know me, you know I love me some sparkling wine, and I love to sweat. I'm a sweaty, sparkling wine drinker, basically. With that in mind, if brute deodorant were like brute champagne, how could I describe my armpits after applying it? Quite sweet, nice and dry, extremely fruity, or strangely non-bubbly. Fruity? Oh, like I'm the only person who cornrows my armpit hair? Here's what a right answer looks like. Sparkling wines, like champagne, are classified by their sweetness. The least sweet, or driest, is the Brute. The only problem with using Brute, though, is that every time I hail a cab, a cork shoots out of my armpit. Question it's time for... Not So Little Miss Sunshine. Considering the past winners of the Miss Universe pageant, which of these child beauty pageant winners will most likely grow up to become Miss Universe? Little Miss Russian Snowflake? Little Miss Venezuelan Tropical Rainstorm? Little Miss Thai Monsoon? Or Little Miss Moroccan Sandstorm? After Miss USA, Miss Venezuela has won the most Miss Universe titles, so Little Miss Venezuelan Tropical Rainstorm stands the best chance of eventually becoming Miss Universe. You know, I say there's no age too young to enter a girl into a beauty pageant. I say take some sonogram photos, draw some lipstick on them, attach them to sticks, and dance them around a stage. Lord, didn't chickens pick an automate? Oh. Guess I'll marry eight. How about zebras who blow whistles? You know, it seems like every other year, some NFL football team changes cities or just disappears. It's the put the choices into order, then buzz in and see if you are right. Question. 
And as always, there's an extra $1,000 for a correct answer on this one. Based on the IUCN Red List of Threatened Species, put these NFL teams in order from most to least endangered. Detroit Lions, Cincinnati Bengals, Carolina Panthers. Bengals, Lions, Panthers, Panthers, Lions, Bengals, Lions, Bengals, Panthers, or Bengals, Panthers, Lions. Oh, you had the three animals right, you just didn't put them in the right order. It's so obvious. Bengal tigers, like all tigers, are endangered. Lions are vulnerable, and panthers, also known as cougars or pumas, are not in trouble at all. The uh, pig that made the football is pretty endangered, too. This one's called, My Friends Are All Ugly and Weird. Which Friends characters are least likely to be friends with benefits? Chandler and Rachel, Joey and Phoebe, Ross and Monica, or Chandler and Phoebe? Even Phoebe wasn't dumb enough to get this one wrong. Ready for this? Ross and Monica were brother and sister, so that would be super gross. Although... No, no, no. It's super gross. Hold me, never let me go. And my Here's a good one. My belief system really makes my eyes pop. On what show would Stacy and Clinton advise against wearing zippers? What not to wear if you're Mormon? What not to wear if you're Mennonite? What not to wear if you're Amish? Or what not to wear if you're Muslim? That answer is not very flattering. Where's that confounded right answer? Although they all certainly have strict clothing restrictions, the Amish are the ones who are super anti-zippers. And when was the last time you saw an Amish person in a tube top? Lighten up, Amish! Wait, who am I talking to? They're not playing this game. Welcome to the attack. When you see two clues that match, press your A button. 4,000 if you're right, but you'll lose 4,000 if you're wrong. And most importantly, remember the clue. It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. You're the boss of me. If all else fails, say yes sir or ma'am. Good luck. That's all she wrote! 
You know, I expect a lot more from our contestants. We are a professional, intelligent game show, and it would be nice if the people that play show the common courtesy to act accordingly. Now, excuse me, but I have a back shaving appointment with an intern. You don't know Jack! That'll do it, folks. What's going on, Donnie? Just give me the single if you want to proceed with continuation. Extremely secretive and expensive government research suggests that cats like gum. More on that tonight. I'm so embarrassed, Barbara. I just don't know why this is happening to me. Maybe it's time we considered getting a little help. What about a prescription drug? Or maybe I should just put my dick in a splint. Trouble chubbing up? Scared of pills? Now there's help from Professor Willie's Dingle Splints. The only $5.99 over-the-counter solution for erectile dysfunction. Thank you so much, honey. Don't thank me. Thank Professor Willie. Professor Willie's Dingle Splints. Getting wood 